so today is Smarter Day. All the puzzles have a before and after format. The answer blends two phrases into one. So take the two phrases, old blue eyes and eyes on your own paper. In today's game, the middle word or words of the puzzle connect both phrases, okay? So the clue might be what your favorite substitute host does when he becomes your substitute teacher. And the answer would be old blue eyes on your own paper. Do you get it? It's pretty self-explanatory. And tonight we've got 12 puzzles for you and our prize is $1,000. That's a good chunk of change, right? You could buy yourself 1,000 slices of dollar pizza rat with that money or over 1,800 postage stamps of approval. One half of a very nice pull-out couch potato, wink. Okay, now because I'm a benevolent buddy, let's spin you that letter wheel and get you your free letter to the editor. All right, here we go. Bubble bath, bubble bath, bubble 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 bath. Shout out to Maya Rudolph. Now buddies, you can use that free letter all game and you're so welcome. Now it's time for the first puzzle. Are you ready? Take your time, but don't zone out because the clock is ticking and come on. Let's have some fun, right? It's Saturday night, it's Smarter Day. Let's have some fun, here we go. Your first, first clue of the night is pre-dance practice. Pre-dance practice. So like a run through of a big dance you might attend, maybe you'd wear a corsage or a tuxedo. You do a test run before paying audiences arrive. Does that make sense? These are tough tonight, buddies. Pre-dance practice. Hope those fingers are moving fast. We're almost running out of time. And that's time. The answer, of course, prom dress rehearsal. Prom dress, dress rehearsal, prom dress rehearsal. Congratulations to the 70,000 of you who got that one correct. We lost 47,000 of you. And you know what? That's okay. If you got eliminated this round, stick around and keep playing because the more you practice, the better you get. That's the beauty of life. Isn't that great? Okay, here we go. Puzzle number two. Number two. Number two. How about that? Your hint for puzzle number two is get up. It's nice out. Get up, it's nice out. Now the weather was especially nice today in New York City. A new season is upon us and it's time to take advantage of that nice weather. And we're snapping to attention in the morning right as soon as we open our eyes. Get up, it's nice out. We're almost there. That's time. The answer for this one is Bed spring has sprung. Bed spring, spring has sprung. We lost 44,708 of you on that one. I hope you all packed a lunch. I hope you all got your permission slips lined. Uh, permission slips lined. Permission slip signed? Cause y'all, you got school. I'm sorry to announce it. You got school? That happens sometimes. You still with me? We're having fun, right? Puzzle number three, your hint is spooky propane cellar. Spooky propane cellar. What if one of the most spookiest writers around provided the community with propane and propane accessories? That's a impression right there. A famous cartoon guy. Spooky propane seller. That's time right there. The answer is Stephen King of the Hill. Stephen King and King of the Hill. King of the Hill's still killing it. We got 26,363 of you got that one correct. We lost about 3,500 of our buddies. Bye bye buddies, see you next time. Stick around, keep playing though, cause we're having fun. Here we go, question number four, here's your clue. Your hint is Caesar's bracket. Caesar's bracket, think Caesar like Shakespeare, like Julius Caesar, not like chicken Caesar. And be sure to beware the championship sports game that will be played this Monday. Do you watch sports on TV? There's a big thing happening right now. I don't really know about it, but that's okay. I don't know about other things. I know about this one. The answer for this one is the Ides of March Madness. Beware the Ides of March and March Madness. We got 23,000 you got that one correct. Great job. These are tough. Now it's Smarter Day, so these are gonna be a little trickier. And like I said, if you got eliminated this round, that's okay. We're still doing all right in our lives, you know? Just keep playing, get better. Here we go, puzzle number five up next. Your hint is, Tyler Durden's lunch. Tyler Durden's lunch. The first rule of this puzzle is to never talk about the third piece of bread in this diner lunch staple. Also a great thing to order from hotel room service. Hmm. Tyler Durden's lunch. Brad Pitt played Tyler Durden. Does that help? That's time right there. The answer for Tyler Durden's lunch is Fight Club Sandwich. Fight Club and Club Sandwich. A club sandwich is my dad, Kevin Dunn's 
favorite sandwich maybe after a Philly cheesesteak, of course. Shout out to Kevin Dunn. We got 16,434 of you still playing the game, and I'm happy you're sticking around, sticking around with us. Puzzle number six up next. Your hint for puzzle six is celebrated breakfast. Celebrated breakfast, most important meal of the day. Important to get all your healthy fats in. Maybe use this vegetable or nut. And we tip a glass of champagne to this trendy breakfast food. The best in the land, maybe. <laughs> Celebrated breakfast. I enjoy this myself. That's time right there. Did you get it in time? The answer, of course, avocado toast of the town. The best avocado is the avocado toast of the town. For my taste, you can put some honey, a little Himalayan sea salt on top of there, and I'll eat that every morning. So invite me over. I like breakfast. 14,000 of you still in the game. I'm so proud of you all. And guess what? You just made it halfway through the game. Halfway, man. On Smarter Day, can you believe how smart you are? I mean, on Smarter Day to make it this long? We got a bunch of you still playing and I'm really excited. We got more game to play. Here we go. Your next hint for puzzle number seven is thank goodness for Sylvia Plath. Thank goodness for Sylvia Plath. Also, it'd be awesome to sit and read famous poet and writer Sylvia Plath while maybe drinking a milkshake with these 90s teenage heartthrobs at the max. Thank goodness for Sylvia Plath. Get him in, that's time right there. And the answer for thank goodness for Sylvia Plath, saved by the bell jar. That was a tricky one, I thought, I thought so. We lost oh, almost 6,000 of you that time right there. I mean, we're not gonna say it was a schooled situation, but it was close. You know, it was, it was Sunday school, it was Saturday school, it was smarter day school. So congrats to everyone still in the game. We're moving on to puzzle number eight, and here's your next hint. Another dimension on the court. Another dimension on the court. There are lots of ways to protect the hoop from the offense, but if you ask me my favorite way to do it, this is the one that I did. Do, 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 Does that make sense? These are hard. I probably wouldn't know this one on my own if I wasn't standing up here in front of y'all. We're almost there. There we go, that, another dimension on the court. The answer, of course, Twilight Zone Defense. The Twilight Zone and Zone Defense you must, this is a basketball heavy game today. March Madness and zone defense. You know what, play whatever kind of defense you want because the, the best defense is a strong offense. I don't know, is that a saying? Maybe it is. Puzzle number nine, we're clipping along at a good pace today. Your hint for puzzle number nine is Springfielder in Washington. Springfielder in Washington. Now, if this famous Springfielder's best friend decided to be part of the democratic process here in the United States, we might have to rename one chamber of Congress to this. Springfielder in Washington. That's time right there. Did you get it? This was tricky. I have a... I have a feeling we're gonna lose a bunch of you. The answer, of course, Millhouse of Representatives. Bart Simpson's best friend, Millhouse on The Simpsons in the House of Representatives. We lost 4,900 of y'all on that one. We got 38, 40 playing the game still. Millhouse, that was a tough one. All right, we're gonna clip along. Puzzle number 10 is here. We're having a good time. This is much easier, right? It's much more fun. We're relaxed, we're having a good time today. The next hint for puzzle number 10 is Comedy Central reruns. Comedy Central One of the truly funniest shows on television right now where celebrities get inebriated and tell stories, kept on going because time is a circle and everything has already been done before. Comedy Central reruns. I'm sending you the answer. That's time right there. Comedy Central reruns. The answer to this guy, Drunk History repeats itself. Do me a favor, buddies. If you haven't watched Drunk History yet, go on YouTube, look up clips. It's so darn funny. Oh. I love good comedy. Don't you love good comedy? Hashtag comedy, right? Here we go, puzzle number 11. We are so close to you winning that big old chunk of change. And I hope you win. Your hint for puzzle number 11 is Miley's baby shower. Miley's baby shower. Now some people cut cakes, some people pop balloons, but you better make sure that a Britney song is on when you find out if your buddy, your new little buddy, is gonna be a Hannah or a Montana. Miley's baby shower. Do you like Miley Cyrus? I like Miley Cyrus, she's great. That's time right there. The answer is gender reveal party in the USA. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 3,792 of y'all got that correct. We lost 710 and guess what? 
the, the Britney song will be on next time for you. Uh, and Miley Cyrus is the best. I love her new country song. Congrats to everyone still in the game. You made it all the way to the final puzzle on Smarter Day. These are tough, buddies. How smart are you feeling right now? I mean, truly, I don't know if I would still be in this game. So if you are, congrats. You're one little smart word nerd, and I'm really proud of you. Your final hint of Smarter Day today is grab an EU souvenir. Grab an EU souvenir. Now, I feel like everything wrong in the European Union would be made much more tolerable if secret artist Banksy gave us some more surprise art, right? Did you see the Banksy documentary? It was really good. Grab an EU souvenir. Oh, we're almost there. That's time. Our final answer of the game today on, on Smarter Day is Brexit through the gift shop. Mamma mia, we have 3,463 of you coming through with the big finish. I'm really proud. That's a lot of winners. These truly were very hard puzzles today. And I'm telling you, if you stuck around all the way to the end, I'm happy you won. We've got 15,201 of you watching. Congrats to Boogie Buggy with 29 cents in first place. We have Anna Pernero in second place, I don't know how to pronounce that, with 29 cents going in his bank account, and Chad 1M, a familiar face on the winner's board with 29 cents to take home as well. That's our game for today, buddies. Happy Smarter Day. Now, I know this is gonna sound patronizing, but these were truly very difficult today, and it's a skill. The more you play, the quicker and better you get. And if today wasn't your day, I'm sure you're gonna crush it tomorrow. And great news, Words is live every day at 9.30 p.m. Eastern time, and fear not, Anna Royson will be back out of jail tomorrow and back in the HQ Word saddle. Word nerds rejoice. I've had a really great time playing with everyone today. I'm Timothy Dunn, and I will see you on the internet. I can't wait to see all of your little comments, and I read all your little comments, so you better be nice, buddies. That's it for me today. Please remember, it is cool to be smart. It's cool to be different. It's cool to be kind to each other. So I'll see you all very soon. Be good, buddies. Bye.